He wears a face of folded steel to hide the weight of years. He wears a face of folded steel to hold his hidden fears. He wears a face of folded steel so no one reads his thoughts. He wears a face of folded steel, the merchant who forgot. He trades in truth and power now. He's known by many names, the winged horse, the people's king, and more to fit his frame. Some names he holds close to his heart, others he denies. Tyrant, traitor, conqueror, these names he reads as lies. He bears the weight of many crowns and many doubt his cause. His military might is matched by strange and sober laws. So what becomes of merchant sons brought high on fortune's wheel? Fate demands an iron will and a face of folded steel. With all the battles lost and won, defeat and victory, what mark does steel and iron make in living history? As he bears his burdens forth, a question racks the land. As the man become the mask, the mask become the man. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another chapter of the Adventures of Partia Al Eat in Bannerlord. To thunderous applause, Rovalt has been liberated. The Valandian hearts had been won since well before even Kaladog's banners first flew here. But behind the closed doors of the Lord's Keep, the council convenes. Over 2,000 battalions stand outside the gates of the city, and while one councillor calls for patience, another raises concerns of two massive roving armies in the middle of a war. Through the back and forth among the many councillors, Girathion tends to Partia's wounds as the Sultan himself listens and considers. When the deliberations were done, and the new bandages applied, he did not need to speak his decision. He simply stood and donned his steel mask. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. This is going to be a tense start to the session. I've got to say, I have had a wonderful time reading through your comments of the previous episode and reading through the conversation on the Discord as well. So much back and forth, so much concern, so much fear, so much advice, so much, just so much. I've loved it. It's a very tense time for sure, and there have been great justifications for either of the sort of possible routes we could take here. And I've been mulling over this for quite some time as well. I've been mulling over this actually since uh, these armies arrived while we were sieging Rovalt. So uh, it's good to see uh, see that conversation and see some of my uh, thoughts get uh, sort of uh, written out by others as well. Um, so here's the deal. On the one hand, we could be patient. We could sit at Rovalt, heal our wounds because we, we are we we're definitely wounded and not just us. Uh, so we could sit tight, heal our wounds and allow these armies to hopefully march off. The trouble with that is if they march off, then chances are we have to think about the worst case scenario. Chances are they'll move off in separate directions. And while we might be able to catch and eliminate one, the other might be strong enough to take Ox Hall, perhaps Pravend, maybe Drapan Castle, or in what might actually be a worse scenario, they might be able to engage Hecard's army all the way down over here. And that is troubling. He's got about, let's say, 700 soldiers down there. If Hecard's army is defeated, that is a huge hit. Because those are not just low quality soldiers. Those are high quality, relatively speaking, trained soldiers. We cannot afford to lose that army. Plus, they're actually acting on our behalf, right? They're actually making moves. And that's something that we want to make sure keeps happening. We do not want to be pushed on the back foot. So those are my concerns with staying patient and staying at Rovalt. If we let these armies roam, we might be able to catch one, but the other might cause a fair bit of damage, and then we'll be playing catch-up. We might even end up on the back foot. On the flip side, we march out, we engage them, and we defeat them. Because there's no other option. We have to defeat them. Now, I, I think they outnumber us. There are, there are approximately 2,000. Let's go ahead and say that they are 2,000 strong, and we're 2,000 strong. If we engage them, then we need to make sure that I personally, like Partia, doesn't get too personally involved because, again, we are wounded. And if we fall, I don't know how much damage this army is going to take. Even if we win, and I think we will win this battle, unless we do something catastrophically wrong, 
I think we will win this battle, but again, and as, as I say often, it's not just about winning the battle, it is about maintaining momentum. If we lose half this army right here, right now, oh, we're, 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 we're in trouble for the rest of the war, right? We have to be careful if we dive in. Of the two options, destroying all of these armies right here and now, but the enemy's army is not ours, obviously, <laughs> is the bigger advantage. Because just like we can't afford to lose Hecard's army, or any of ours actually as well, I should say, uh, because of you know the quality of troops we'll be losing, I believe the same situation is true for these Batanians. Uh, if they lose these massive armies, I think they'll be on the back foot for the rest of the battle, uh, for the rest of the war, sorry. We'll have the numerical superiority, we'll also have the quality, because they'll be using at that point in time, for the most part, not all the time, but for the most part, recruits and other low-tier soldiers, while we will have our trained, hardened warriors. So of the two options that lie before us, I say we leave. I say we uh, encourage the men in our army. And I say we charge into battle. I'm very nervous about this, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I just want to check if there isn't someone in particular I should try and engage so that if there's the off chance of it, I may be able to speak to them and maybe I'm able to convince them to join me uh, instead of being on the other side of this battlefield. But that is seeming very unlikely. Yorig's party with it deeply embedded over here. Yorig's party... Aaron's army. We can't speak to an army. Satanus. Satanus? Satanus? Again, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull this off. But if I am able to pull it off, that would be great. Uh, Kaladog, obviously, no point speaking to. Yorig. The Yorig. You used to serve me once. I mean, I don't know. I, I've been told that we cannot buy mercenaries who are serving others um, who we are at war with. So maybe that's not the right call. But if there's nobody else, Panalea. Let's see, Panalea. Nope, not worth speaking to. All right, I guess. Um, let me actually check this name over here as well. What was it? Sign. Sane. 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 Man, of course, the person who's actually in charge of something important is the one person that's uh, in an army. Well, not the only person, but you know what I mean. All right, let's try and let's try and engage. Uh... Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's somewhere down. Yorig's party over here. Me uh, again. There's no one else. It doesn't make a difference, right? At that point, let's try it and hope for the best. I believe I'm ready. No, you know what? I'm gonna do one more thing over here. My apologies. My apologies. I know we're uh, many of us are holding our breaths, excited for this battle. I want to make sure that, uh, you know, at the end of it, we're still able to take more breaths. I want to make sure that at the end of it, we're not dead. Uh, and if that means is taking a minute over here to make sure everyone's recruited, make sure everyone's properly, like, you know, upgraded and things like that, I just I hope y'all don't mind. Um, Fridina, by the way, I, it was mentioned that Fridina should be among our horse archers, and she is. Uh, I just wanted to confirm that because I, I remember giving her the two quivers and making her a, a, a horse archer, so... Uh, just a heads up with regards to that. Now, I'm the only one in our party who's actually hurt. So, I guess in a way that's promising. I'm going to take that as a good omen, perhaps, maybe? I need to be so careful. And I love seeing my impatience get called out because it is so accurate. It's so accurate. I am so impatient at times. But my impatience cannot win today. It must not win today because then the battalions might win today. All right, over to Yorick's party. Let's do this. Gonna take this cautiously here because of this mess. Ooh. Mormir Yorig. Hang on a second. Mormir. Hang on a second. You know, I always thought these guys were mercenaries. <laughs> I, guess, I guess they're not mercenaries. Well, that makes this a bit more promising. Artia, peace to you, he says. We don't get along. I was going to say, do we not get along? No, 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 we do not. I hear you took Rovalt. You're outnumbered. Give up. Or don't. Death in battle is a fine thing. Stay your hand. Perhaps we don't have to come to blows. Your liege Kaladog is not worth of your loyalty. I am the rightful ruler of this land. I would like your support. I don't even like you. You expect me to discuss something like this with you? Yes. You may know me as a man of honor. 
Okay, I was worried it would be a critical fail. I, I don't think we're going to succeed here, but it is worth a shot. I gave an oath to my liege. Galadog is not known for keeping his word. It is well known. It is well known. I've always stood by Kaladog. Whether Kaladog has stood by me or not is another question. What kind of a person are you, buddy? Okay, nothing about generosity here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say it is well known that you and Kaladog loathe each other. Okay, very good, very good. I see. Why change sides now? Once one declares oneself a rebel, there is usually no going back. We need that critical if we're going to try and convince him right here and now. And so you are known for your valor. Fortune favors the bold. Together, we will win this war quickly. <gasps> are you... What? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Okay, look, it's not done yet. I don't know if I can afford him. Oh, boy. Very well. You've convinced me that this is something I can consider. This is a dangerous step, however, and I'm putting my life and the lives of my people at risk. I need some sort of support from you before I can change my allegiance. What do you need? <gasps> oh, I can for- I'm so- I'm so pleased right now. I'm so pleased right now. I'm so happy right now. I- I'm so happy right now. Um, okay, this is fantastic. This is- fantastic again is he the biggest deal are they the most magnificent of clans no but it's the sometimes you just got to enjoy the little victories you know now he's asking for a fair sum this isn't a, a token sort of a situation um so i think the money is uh is enough you know i feel like making making the offer money and an ass right horse i want to find something consistent you know it's, it's been something i've spoken about uh, in the comments as well and i've like kind of got back and forth with it it's not because I keep uh, flipping. I try to avoid flipping who I am as a character, right? And I try to find these consistencies. This is always something I've struggled with. Um, is like, what is the right gift to convince someone? I'm going to go ahead and say the money that is required and an Asurai horse. Because I feel like this, the, 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 the symbol is there. You know, the symbolism is there. And I feel like um, the Asurai horse is not a, a cheap commodity, especially this far up north. Uh, and, and, uh, and it is a worthy horse to have. So I feel like that's the right call. Uh, can I, if I click auto offer now, okay, that's all it does. All right, we'll go ahead and add the horse. Can I reduce the money a little bit? I'm not going to get too picky over here, folks. I do want to get into this fight, especially now. Oh, we can actually drop this a fair bit. Well, what do you know? That horse is worth a lot, apparently. Who'd have, who'd have thought? Oh, okay. All right. You know what? Cool. I'll, I'll take my savings. I'll, I am a merchant, after all. Here we go. Yeah, join the Ishkast. You've got your stuff. A lot of money. I hope he doesn't abandon me right afterwards. Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> let's do it. Yeah, our relations are still not that great. Ormadovian clan has joined the Ishkast. Very well. This is a great step to take, but it must be done. Indeed, Emir Yorig. It must be done. That's amazing. Um, there was nobody else. Unfortunately, Sane is in a is in an army over here. Anybody else? Yorig, who has just joined me, 115 strong. I will take those numbers. Yo, I can't. I legitimately, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. Um, clans. Ormidovin. Yeah, we just got of castle. And you know, three parties. That that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll take a look at improving our influence with them shortly. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and engage. Who? Who should we engage? Maybe Sen himself? We're probably going to get stuck down against Kaladog. Where is he? I know it doesn't matter. All right, you know what? I'm just going to pick somebody. Um, Iran's army. Oh, he was like right next to us. He like could probably hear that conversation happening. But dear, I wish you peace and prosperity. But of course, I don't want that. You do not want peace? Come on, man. I hear you took Rovalt. Listen, there's something I'd like to discuss. He's in an army, but let's try it. Your liege, Kaladog, is not worth your loyalty. You will not listen to it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, oh, I, I was like, why can't I fight him? Right, you know we're at war. Surrender or die. I have no wish to fight you. I don't care. Yield or fight. I'm the attacker here, I take it. I was kind of hoping they would attack me so that they would be... Uh, 
the aggressor. I could tell them he can go his way. No, you know what? It's in character. I don't care. Yield or fight. Very well. Except expect no mercy. Uh, likewise. Okay, so they outnumber us. Um, less so because of the uh, the convincing we managed to do at like the nick of time. We outclass them though. Now, however, it has been mentioned to me in the past that this is kind of bugged out, and it's actually it works the other way around. I don't know if that's the case still. I don't know if that's been fixed. I don't know if that was always or ever the problem, or, or, or what was going on, but hopefully we do actually outclass them. Again, at the end of the day, though, it's not just about winning this battle, it is about winning and maintaining our numbers, because if we lose too many soldiers, if we lose our momentum, this war could be very uh, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Back. Sorry if I seemed a little hesitant there, or, 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 or slow there, I apologize, but it was definitely... Um, Ah, uh, there was lots going on there. There was lots going on there. Now, this is an interesting battlefield, and I don't know if I like it. Oh, dear. I don't know if I like this at all. We've got a mound over here and a mound over here. Flatlands over here. I, I, I Honestly, I can't tell what the uh, circumstances are going to play out like. Will I have room to put my infantry up front, archers behind, cavalry to the side, or, or will this be a messy, messy formation? At least we'll have high ground to observe the battlefield from. All right. Let's begin. Oh dear. Yeah, I really don't like this battlefield. I really don't like this battlefield. Oh no, 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 don't, as long as you don't die. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Ah, uh, let me get up here. Where are they? Around the bend, eh? Now, they're probably not going to be attacking us. This is, okay. This is trouble. This is trouble, because we're going to have to try and bait them out. This might be a long, long battle, actually. We're going to have to bait them out. We're going to have to use our horse archers, I think, to uh, to try and cause enough damage that they feel the need to, to push forward. So let's make sure that we are properly positioned over here. Get our infantry down over here. Our reinforcements will be arriving from there, right? So that's something to be concerned about, I suppose. We have 95... 95 archers with us. Okay. These archers up top over here. Gotta make sure they're in loose formation as well. Cavalry, we can post up over here. Get them into a wedge formation. Infantry. You know, here's the struggle. Here's the real struggle. I want my infantry to be in shield wall formations, right? Because of javelins and stuff like that. However, reinforcements in shield wall formation move very slowly. So, concerning, at least. Archers are still coming up, yep. Make sure these guys are positioned properly. See, what's really unfortunate is I might actually, despite everything I was saying earlier, I might actually need to get at least somewhat personally involved over here. Just to direct all the fighting up front over there. They are really far away. I cannot. I will not win this battle if my reinforcements are extremely far behind me. I'm just being real here with you. I'm just being real with you. Uh, let's see. So if we draw them out, will they sit up top of that hill? Potentially, right? Potentially. So let's go ahead and reposition ourselves a little bit. Oh, okay. I need to, like, remember my breathing. <laughs> I'm, 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 I am a little concerned here. Right, let's go ahead and form you guys up over here. Right, they might come up from over there. Get our cavalry up top over there. Our archers up over here. They'll be able to fire clearly. I don't want to get all the way up over there. Again, this is already much farther than I would like to be as far as uh, reinforcement ranges are concerned. Significantly farther than I'd like to be. Make sure these guys are in a loose formation as well. Horse archers. Now, there's 82 horse archers here, which is a magnificent number. My concern is will they go charging in if I delegate? That's my concern. That's why I feel like I have to be a bit more personally involved Right, archers are up over here in position. They, they sh these guys should have clear lines of fire, right? Like, this is looking pretty good to me. Oh, that's not what I meant at all. You're not in loose formation? They don't look like they're in loose formation. Get off your horses if you think you are on them. Oh, yeah, they, okay, that, that looks like loose formation. Okay, cool. Front line is down here, back line is up there. They should be able to fire over the tops of our infantry. 
hopefully. Um, if they want to flank us, they'll have to come from a pretty wide angle. I don't think they'll try that, so that's promising. And cavalry up front over there for now. Uh, what I think I might want to do is send them a little bit further up, perhaps. Back up over here. Yeah, so they can charge down after lines engage or, or pull in and, and charge from behind. All right, horse archers. I'm going to march forward with them and then delegate command because I want to have uh, a, a, at least a little bit of fine-tuned command over them, for starters. I want to make sure that they are staying alive. Horse archers up top over here. Let's go. Look at that. That is a large arm. 25 archers, 425 infantry, 44 cavalry, one horse archer among them. Not bad, not bad. We, uh, we outrange them. On which note, from the initial shots, I don't think these will do any damage. I mean, they're, they're, it looks like they're in loose formations. Might want to get a little bit closer. Move forward, men, move forward. And all we need to do is cause enough damage convince them that they need to move forward. So the shots, oh, it's so beautiful. Such a sight. Such a sight to see. Nothing's landing, though. Nothing's landing. Alright. A bit more aggressive. A bit more aggressive here. Oh, there we go. Highborn youth. Good kill. That's our first blood. There we go. There we go. There it is. Just had to be that little bit closer. I go even further. Tempting fate. Just a touch. I need to be quick to respond if they start to charge us. I'm not going to delegate command. We're doing just fine from over here. Man's charging us. Pull back. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Did Alia get that kill? I want to know who got that kill. I didn't notice the top right corner. I just see the skills getting increased. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like they're coming towards us. Start pulling back. Maintain that distance. We get the kill that matters. Alright, need to kite. Cautiously here now, cautiously. Again, the reason why I'm not delegating is because I cannot afford a random, you know, charge. Suicidal charge, as we've seen them do before. This is good. Go back further, let's go. Let's draw them away from their reinforcements. Excellent. Fills in. Archers will hopefully be able to activate soon as well. Then back up. Our horse archers can maybe fire from up top there as well. One thing I'm nervous about is if these guys get distracted by me. Horse archers get the job done. You guys back. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Cavalry, I hope you're ready. Oh man, everybody, I hope you're ready. Galanian sharpshooters are getting some kills in. Excellent. Tempted to send my cavalry through over here. Let's go. I think we need to. While they're still kind of like loose, loosely formed. There we go. Beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Tektra Sultan. Run them down. Horse archers keep falling back, maybe. Pull back, pull back. Yeah, I was a little worried about that happening. Okay. Riders down there. Take care of their archers, please. Front lines are engaging now. Looks like archers are still able to get work done. Good stuff, good stuff. Charge. Hopefully that'll keep all of their uh, range units occupied. Okay, excellent. Gotta keep my shield up over here. Need to make sure I don't get dropped. We're okay, we're okay. And quite well, actually. Riders up top over here. Gotta wait. Let them get bogged down, I think, now. 360. Infantry. 350 now. Alright, we'll pull them pulling away, pulling away, pulling away. Force archers coming through. Range units still firing away. Good stuff. Oh dear. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Had my shield up, like, right on time. Horses. Pull back a little bit. Venture too far forward, perhaps. Still a good vantage point back over here. Not a problem. Oh. 
that if that man had hit me, I would have been dropped, I think. Come on now, come on, man. Got this. Horse archers firing to the backs of our enemies, I think. Front line is holding. Cavalry is having trouble up there. That's not good. That is really not good. Some reinforcements arriving, perhaps. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, their cavalry has uh, seemingly overwhelmed our left flank, but we are overall holding. Infantry arriving. Cavalry reinforcements arriving as well, hopefully. What do they have? What do they have? 48 ranged units, 332 infantry. First archers pull back a little bit. Cavalry up top, let's go. Doing alright. Not the time to get impatient. Not the time to pull some ridiculous trigger. We're doing okay over here. Go firing away. Yeah, these, uh... The pressure they're applying to our horse archers is constantly chasing them is getting a little unfortunate over there. I feel like we're doing okay. Could pull up over here, maybe. Then them out. The Thieb is learning quite well, it seems. Oh no, it looks like they're pulling up this way now. That's not ideal. Really wonder how many horses we've lost. Like, how much cavalry we've lost versus... Uh, versus um, just wounded. Okay over here. These archers are in a little bit of trouble. Come on, drop them, drop them. I just kind of turning right now. I don't like that. I feel like I need to get involved, but I really... I know I shouldn't. You know what I think the problem is? Our angle of engagement. Advance. Horse archers up top. There we go. So many of these soldiers were just standing there while the rest were getting swarmed. Okay, don't advance that much. Don't advance that much. They have a lot of range as well now is the problem. We're doing okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. These guys are in a shield wall, yes. Okay, just adjusted their location a little bit. I think that'll help. Horse archers, are you doing okay? I think so. Cavalry, get out of there, get out of there, come on. Let's go, let's go. Range units not able to fire right now, it looks like. Are they out of ammunition? They might be out of ammunition, actually. It's not promising. Horse archers, oh my god, like pulled through or something. They're about to get swarmed up over there. 370 infantry. Pull these guys up over here. Let's go. Firing away as you do it. Move cavalry is arriving. A couple of a couple of reinforcing soldiers have arrived. It seems we are taking some hefty losses as well. Oh my god! Four hundred infantry on the other side of the field. I feel like our archers aren't able to fire. Move them off to the side a little bit. Might have been a risky risky move there. More cavalry arriving as well. Fourteen cavalry now. Bad hit for our horse archers, I think. Move, let's move. A little bit of melee for our archers. I don't quite like it. I feel like I need to give a charge command, honestly. You guys forward a little bit. Let's go. A bit of damage on cavalry there. Not a big fan of that. Horse archers. Oh no, took a lot of damage on the horse archers. That is bad. That is really bad. I think I need to get involved. I think I need to get involved before before the tide turns too strongly here. Oh lord. I don't even know like where I can dive in. These guys are dangerous. They got range, they got spears, they got all sorts of stuff, they got javelins. No, no, no. Can't get stuck in. Can't get stuck in. Let's go. We're doing all right. <laughs> They're so low down below me. My health is so low as well. Come on. In comes the reinforcements. Try and keep our infantry alive over here. Uh, you know what? The reinforcements are coming from too far away. This is not good.
Charge our archers. Charge our infantry. Gotta push them back. Oh dear. Okay, I'm too low on health. I gotta pull back. But now they're able to fire, so that's good at least. I'm gonna turn this tide again. Infantry's arriving. Excellent. Infantry, you know what? No longer a shield wall line formation for you. Come on, come on, come on. Move quickly now. Move quickly now. Cavalry charge down here, maybe. They still have 400 infantry? Are you kidding me? Our archers up there getting some work done, it looks like. They're like m mowing the lawn over here. Okay, buddy. Okay, good. Our archers are on him. Yo, our our archers are doing wonderful in melee. Should have pulled that trigger sooner. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. We push them back. Archers... You know what? You're doing what you're doing, it's working. Infantry over here. Archers pull back a little bit, actually. I'm a little uncomfortable with the, uh... How far they've thinned themselves out. Horses over here. 422, are you kidding me? Come on, push, push, push. And we got a nice flank in here. Charge in, men. Let's go. Cavalry push in as well. Or Sarchers, only four of you. Not a big number. 398, 396, looking at their infantry counts. Archers are certainly taking a bit of a beating. Reinforcements still so far away, so many of them. Looking good, though. Looking good. I've got a sliver of health left. This could go horribly wrong at any moment. 11 horse archers. That's good. Send them forward. Get them involved. Chargers are coming through. They're you can see their like range units coming through and getting involved as well. Those javelins being tossed. Terrifying. Cavalry, 33 horses. Pull you away. Let's try and get some charges on those disparate soldiers coming through. Yeah, supply that pressure. Let's go. Their morale must be dropping. Battalion morale must be dropping. Must be swinging things in our favor. Riders, come on. Move, horse archers. Let's move, let's move, let's go. Come on, men. Victory is ours for the taking. You just have to reach out and grab it. Cavalry! Well done, cavalry. Let's move you forward. Archers arriving. All right, good stuff. Let's pull these archers back a little bit, I think. I think they'll be okay now. Yeah, there we go. Our infantry contingent has arrived in full, it looks like. Our infantry now outnumbers theirs. Beautiful. As long as we can maintain that. Cavalry charge up there. Horse archers, let's push you up a little bit. Ooh, these guys are getting a little adventurous. Trying to drop the Sultan. All right. Arrows move forward. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on now. This is a dangerous place to stand. Oh, that javelin. Let us not forget the Merchant Spain. Go back a little bit. Look, it's safer to be up there now. Well done, men. Well done. The archers pushing up in melee swung this battle. Absolutely swung this battle. Look at that. 66 cavalry arrives now. I really wish you could choose the composition you wanted to start the battle with. Wow. Wow. I'm kind of terrified to look at the losses. I'm a little terrified to look at the losses, I'm not gonna lie to you. But this was a hard-fought battle. The well-won victory. Wow. I'm, uh... I'm relieved. Cavalry, run them down. I, was, I didn't. I did I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about this one. I was not sure about this one. As much as I, I believe I said we will win, <laughs> I wasn't sure about this one. All right, let's not get too adventurous now. Let's not drop dead at the end of it. Well done, men. Well done. This is why we prosper.
Look at that. Look at that. Oh my lord. Ah, we had to lose we had to lose a couple of soldiers. Kaladog Kaladog stands and he kills our men. Alright. Where is Kaladog? Where is Kaladog? Probably not with the horse archers. All these Sturgeon Drizniks did not need to fall. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's how we go? <laughs> Fair enough. Old age is catching up to us, I suppose. Is this Kaladog? Should have just pulled back the uh, the charge command. That's hilarious, though. I gotta say, that's a, that's hilarious. Quite quite the finale there. Quite the finale. Oh, what a fight that was, though. What a fight that was. Go ahead and say I, I was I was laying in the grass to enjoy this uh, newly won land. <laughs> wow. You know that's actually not 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 so bad. That's actually not so bad. To be perfectly fair. Wait, who? Okay. I just saw has died on the battlefield, and I was like, "Excuse me, Nywin. I do not recognize your name, but uh, you will be remembered. You must have fought valiantly, I imagine, a Batanian warrior." Sorry, what was your name again? <laughs> You will be remembered, I thought I said. Nywin. Funny how the word win is in uh, in that name. Look at the size of this Nywin. There we are. Oh, you fought. Maybe maybe not Valiant. Oh, you fought. Look at that, though. 681 leveled up. They had 989 level up. I guess a lot of our elite soldiers were doing a lot of the hitting. Now, I'm a little worried about... Okay, what I, I, I'm going to just sort of slowly scroll down over here. Uh, and I'll do like a, I, I want to, for my own personal kind of learning and whatnot, uh, I kind of want to just analyze how our soldiers performed. Um, I'm not going to like talk over every detail, but anything that stands out to me, I'm going to mention. And if you guys think uh, about anything that stands out to you, let me know as well. I, I love this kind of like after action report, especially after what I think is probably the biggest battle in this campaign. That was 4,500, if I'm not mistaken, soldiers. Right? Approximately, give or take. A lot of soldiers. That was a lot of soldiers. I think that's our biggest fight in this entire story. Uh, footmen, infantry, muscle mom looks unfortunate, unfortunate. Some archers, yeah. I mean, those archers diving into melee swung the battle in our favor, but of course, it's not where they're meant to be. They fought valiantly. Each and every one of them will be remembered. Um, literally putting their lives on the line. Man, I'm so pleased with how this went. It looks like the kills are pretty, like, spread out. Like, the deaths, I should say, are pretty sp uh, spread out. It's not like I can point to a bad moment or anything just by looking at the numbers. But again, the numbers are so large. Sometimes when the numbers get so big, uh, the the conclusions to draw can be a little obfuscated. Look, look at these Valandian sharpshooters, man. Look at these sharpshooters. Ridiculous, they are so good. Their positioning also helped. You know, I, I'm going to say it. I'm really happy with how that battle went. That battle went... Splendidly. <laughs> the positioning, the movement, the... The kills from these Valandian sharpshooters. <laughs> what is this, man? That's ridiculous. This is good stuff. Lots of mom look right. Yeah, see, we, we, did have a, we did have a couple of those bad charges with our horse archers especially. And I knew I was taking risks charging them across the field like that. But I... I needed some disruption, and it was it was a risk I took, and I know I took a risk, but I, I needed some disruption, and they provided it. It will also be remembered. It's just like we had to use those archers, you know, sort of a, a linchpin situation. But we did we did quite well. We did quite well. 29 Valandian recruits. See, a lot, of, a lot of the deaths are also from lower tier soldiers, of course, as one can expect. Not to be ignored, obviously, or, or set aside, but... It does give some perspective. Now, here we go. Here's all the... Uh, we got some heavy cav. Uh, we had uh, more cavalry over here. Uh, these are a lot of deaths in, in, in Unthri's party over here. You know what? I gotta figure out who gets uh, Roll Vault as well. Gotta be a Valandian, of course. Gotta figure out who, though. I think we did alright. More wounded than dead, which is good. Always preferable. There's Yorig as well. You know what? Yorig pulled his weight. 
Hold his weight. Good stuff. Good stuff. Black over here. Everyone's like improving their skills and stuff. Excellent. Where's my... There we go. I was like, where's my party? 70 leveled up. 67 dead. 161 wounded. We did well, I think. We did well enough. That, uh, yeah. See, there's our heavy cavalry. Mamluk heavy cavalry specifically and our Mamluk cavalry. Those are horse archers. Downed. Everybody leveling up though, so that's been promising. Alia and Fatid both learning their skills. Good, good, good. I also improved my tactics significantly just by standing around giving orders. You can improve your tactics, which is great to see. So many fell that Garothian improved his <laughs> medicine skills. His medical skills, rather, I should say. Uh, what else did we lose? Tremendous numbers of... Kind of spread out. A lot of horse archers. It's all horse archers and cavalry took a beating there. Which, I guess, you know, balances things out. We've been talking about it for a while. I suppose that balances things out. All right, and that's the entire uh, <laughs> scroll there. I wonder how many of their soldiers are willing to join us right off the bat. I imagine not too many. I also wonder how many of them we've managed to capture, and how many of them we can imprison, and how many of them we can just take off this uh, war for a little while, take out of this war for a little while. Man, this is a... Jeez, normally I can scroll up to the top to take a look at this at the end and hit done, but that took forever. All right, good stuff. Done. What a fight. What a fight. A fair bit of gold, actually. Kaladog of the Batania has been taken prisoner by Urwa. Wonderful. Sarandon, Sachanis, Sane, and Corain all have been taken prisoner as well. Mormer Aradwir. They're my prisoner now. Yeah. Hard, hard, to, hard to say sometimes. They're not a major clan in terms of their numbers or anything like that. Um, yeah, he's my prisoner. You know what? We've been able to convince people who hate us. I'm sure we can convince people who like us. You're my prisoner. You are indeed at my mercy. Mormer Gifor. You too are my prisoner. Beautiful. Mormer Eran. There's a familiar name. What to do? What to do with Eran? A powerful lord. Very expensive to try and convince, but some of you suggested that maybe if we were to declare war first because he would have his fiefs still, he might be cheaper. I, I would think it works the other way around, where because he's bringing his fiefs with him, he thinks he's worth more. Now, we don't need to improve relations with him, though, because, again, we've already had a successful conversation with him, right? So he can be my prisoner now, and eventually I'll be able to speak to him. Unfortunately, you can't speak to people when they're your prisoners. I wish they would change that. I wish they would change that. It would make taking prisoners a bit more of an involved affair. But, uh, Eran, you shoulda, you shoulda, you shoulda been a bit more amicable for my prisoner now. You are at my mercy, absolutely. And keep in mind, I was never at yours. Oh, ho, ho, man, everybody fell. Everybody fell. That was a hard-fought battle. You know what? In, I'm kind of glad that I did as well. I'm kind of glad. I'm, I'm not even joking. Everybody fell but me? That would be, that would be, that would tell a story. This tells a different one. All right, go ahead and upgrade these guys. A little bit of upgrading to do over here right now. Good stuff, good stuff. Can't wait to take a look at my composition after this. And I'm curious also how much this is gonna cost us. Also, can we just talk about those sharpshooters for a second? Just how ridiculously powerful are they? Oh, you know what? I didn't keep an eye out for our Fian Champions uh, Look at these upgrades. Uh, Fian Champions uh, kill counts. I should. I'll take a look at those after. Um, like you know, eh, like after I'm done editing and stuff. But uh, those Valanian sharpshooters, though, ridiculous, ridiculous. All right, we're good. We're good. Go ahead and upgrade you guys. Upgrade you. Wonderful to see everyone come together for our, for our glorious success. Tempting as it is to get a Valandian banner knight. Yeah, you know what? Who am I kidding? Let's go for that. The infantry, any of these prisoners willing to join us? Now, we do not have room for all these prisoners. Thankfully, we have a dungeon right next to us. I think I'll pick up all these prisoners as well and then sort things out once we arrive at the city. Hopefully, these guys don't escape as we're returning to Rovalt. That would, that would be very upsetting, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it has happened to me before. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens again, but hopefully it won't. These, all right. Expensive upgrades. Prisoners all picked up. Done here. Over my limit, that's fine. We're not over my 280, 290. Yeah, we're not near my uh, soldier limit anymore, for sure. Okay, fine here. What about the loot? Give me the loot. 
A fair bit of loot. Most of it's probably useless. Capacity exceeded. Yeah, we're gonna have to dump some of it. Doesn't help that a lot of our soldiers are also wounded. I believe that. I believe wounds takes away from uh, carry capacity. Nywin has died in battle. Go ahead and take a look at Nywin over here. Fen... Oh... Sorry, Fen Derngill. Can you imagine if Sane had... Had, had not been in an army and we had spoken to him and he joined us? Nywin might not have died. Damn. It's, uh, it's quite insane, isn't it? Uh, Alright. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, let's return to Rovalt. I think that's the first order of business over here. Joron. Joron all the way up over here. You being a moron. Oh, this hurts. I could speak to him. But if I chase after him, we might lose all of our prisoners. All I can hope is that I can return to Rovalt. He'll continue marching towards me. And, uh, and maybe I can catch him. He's faster than me. We're probably disorganized right now. Like, it's not going to work out. Let's simply go to Rovalt for now. All right, call. How many prisoners am I going to lose? A 1,070 prisoners in this entire army. Oh, hey, looks like we made it. Some troops donated to the settlement. First time I've seen that. Hey, actually, garrison of 163. Have they fixed that finally, where people now start giving troops to your, uh, to the, the king's, um, holdings as well? Because that's pretty cool. Alright, what am I looking for over here? First of all, manage town. I feel like, honestly, that battle was like a bit of a reset button for me in terms of like, alright, like, I gotta, I gotta like regroup a little bit. We got housing going on over here. That seems fair to me. I mean, maybe we should do train militia instead. Food is dropping, but that's because, again, it's a war war zone right now. Uh, they'll need to have food. I need to get food for myself, actually. I don't think these guys have food right now. Um, they do not. Probably consumed it during the siege, right? I think we probably gained some food from the loot in that battle. So that's promising. Let me actually check over here. 30 days of food, all right. What I'll likely want to do is, ugh, tempting as it is to go down to Ox Hall and pick up food before we push forward, I do really want to hit Turby Castle, at least, if not Ostacan as well, before pulling back. Like, how long could these guys take, right? We have 30 days of food for our entire army. These guys could probably take, like, maybe 5 days and maybe 10 days. I think we should be fine. Plus, I don't think we need our entire army for the rest of this northern campaign. Uh, on the topic of army, no, no one to recruit. What about the tavern district? Let's go ahead and pick up these Valandian armed traders, and let's choose prisoners to be ransomed. Now, oh, hang on a second. My apologies. Back to our keep, over to our dungeon. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and toss at least a couple of these guys in here. There we go. Ardwir, Gifor, and Eron. Yeah, sure. But also ransom Eron out and then see if I can't convince him to join me, you know, quickly. Look at all these prisoners. Hot damn. All right, anybody else I want to leave in here? Before I do that, I would like to go over to the tavern, check our actual numbers, choose the prisoners to be ransomed. I would hate to, by mistake, click ransom all prisoners. That would... I don't know what I would do. All right, one battalion horsemen, 32 battalion volunteers. I will never... Oh, they're... I guess they're in the chain. I was gonna say I would never recruit them. Nah, I would never recruit them. Let's be real. Let's be real. We're, we're past that. Veteran Foxman, hired Blade. Though it does sound like we're able to have them now. It does sound like we're able to recruit them, right? Because of the, uh, the new skills and stuff. I don't know, man. Uh, you know what? There will be more. There will be more. For now, let's do what we have done in the past and uh, hope that it still applies in the present. Getting rid of some of these lower slash lowest tier prisoners as well. Man, like that was, again, like that was not a bad army. You know, the other thing I wanted to do actually during that uh, scrolling like up and down the uh, after action report, I did want to see their... Um, their composition. I want to see what I was up against there. A lot of prisoners. Rebooters I kind of want to keep because they can become fan champions. And with the forest bandits, of course. Who do I leave behind? I think I'm done with the uh, drop-off surgeon recruits. Drop-off, I mean trade-off or whatever. Ransom-off. 
and clan warriors. Yeah. Highborn warriors become Vian champions, so I would like to have them come with me too. Alright, cool. So we're done here. Nope, we've got the Valanian Vanguard. Now I believe we're done here. Guaranteed I'm missing somebody, but it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Alright, cool, done. A little bit of money, sure. And sorry, what's our limit now? Yep, we have to drop a lot, a lot of people off. Okay, done here. That's fine. Over to the keep. Over to the dungeon. Man. <laughs> My head hurts from that battle. Like, not, not like actually, but it's like I can feel the tension still. Vanguard Ferris, good to have. I definitely like to acquire these guys. The Harami over here, Vanguard Ferris. And my bandits of Vanguard Ferris. When did I get these guys? When did I get these guys? Um, in this in this battle, maybe. Watchmen, sure. Oh, see, I knew I would miss somebody. I knew I'd miss somebody. Sturgeon, Ulf, Hednar. Fair enough. Britannian scouts. I like to keep some of y'all with me. All right, we gotta start dropping people off. Heroes will keep. These are fairly far down the line. Highborn Warriors, of course, we're keeping, like I said earlier. Veteran Skirmishers, Foxmen. Leave you behind as well. Woodrunners. Again, this is the dungeon, right? This is the dungeon, just as a reminder. These Sturgeons. Basically, I gotta figure out who I want potentially joining me. 12 Valandian Levy Crossbowmen. They are good. Let's not keep 12 of them, though. We've got some Valandian crossbowmen of a higher tier. They are good. There's no denying that. Militia Spearmen, Imperial Archers, leave y'all behind. Brigands, maybe. Hillmen, for sure, I think. Brigands and Hillmen have... Okay, yeah, cool. So, Hillmen, let's go ahead and leave you behind. Brigands, let's keep some of you behind. People to Force Bender, Asteroid Archer. Wouldn't mind those guys. What else do we have a lot of? Blinding footmen, sure. Spearmen, mercenary scout. Anion skirmishers. Real trained infantry. What are we looking at here? I mean, the other thing is, you know what? We're also going to leave behind the Nomad Bandit and the Harami. We'll come back and pick them up. The other thing is that we need to heal some of our soldiers. Once they heal, we'll be able to pick more of these people back up. Get the crossbows back in there. I, I wish I'd... Uh, that a little bit sooner. My apologies. There we go. Done. Alright. Done here. We're going to wait here for a little bit. Not for a very long time. For a little bit. Get these guys back up. Make a way out. Nothing to trade here. Nothing else to do over here. We wait. We heal. And then we move. We have some character upgrades as well, actually. I could take a look at that. Why is this... Only about the screen looks a little funny. Tactics. I guess we just learned the small unit attacks. Plus one troops join you when fighting in hideouts. Troops in your formation gain movement speed bonus when there are less than 15 soldiers. Horde leader. Plus 10 to party size. Your armies lose cohesion 5% slower. I kind of like horde leader. If you consider how we've been commanding. And also ties into our conversations about early friendships with like the Kuzate and stuff like that. So horde leader it shall be. Plus a larger party size is not something to scoff at. Um, oh dear. There's a lot of... Hey, uh, dead aim or bow control. I feel like maybe dead aim is a nice idea here. Increase your headshot damage bonus by 30% or bow control. Reduce accuracy penalty by moving. You know, I'm going to go with bow control actually because I don't know how often the AI pulls off headshots. So let's go with bow control. Okay, done. Um, Fatid, you must have leveled up a little bit, right? A couple of focus points over here. His engineering has improved. Ballistics, catapults are more effective. Maybe I should use catapults as opposed to trebuchet. Should we start training him to be uh, a leader of, of armies? I don't know how to spread his focus points. I'm going to be straight up with you. We have another party available now, right? Start uh, training him that way. You'd have to make him the quartermaster. I would lose my party size. I'm like, now's not the time. The middle of a war is not the time. All right, fair enough. That's that decision made. Uh, don't want to up your engineering too much. Let's go ahead and up your bow and 
Riding, though. We can keep improving those. Engineering we'll do maybe later. I'll leave those two focus points and that one attribute point for now. For now. After the war, things might change, and I want to I want to keep uh, room for that, obviously. Um, Ottawa. Ottawa, Ottawa, Ottawa. What to do with you? Up your tactics. Again, when she's out and about on her own, which I do want to, like... I want to make sure she is out and about on her own more often than not. As much as it's like I want to keep her by my side to make sure that she doesn't get caught out of position by some foolish other, you know, army commander or something like that, I do want to... It's cool to have her out there as well, you know? In my opinion, at least. So tactics and some stewardship is probably a good call. One more step of stewardship so we can have even larger parties. I don't think that's a bad idea. Najin. Uh, crossbow bow doesn't need to be assigned right now. Dorian. You're all good. Roguery, I suppose. No rest for the wicked. Or sweet talker. Um, neither of these are going to make a difference, I think. I suppose sweet talker has at least a governor aspect to it, which he might end up being. So let's go with sweet talker. It makes prisoners less likely to escape from towns. And he's a scholar. I imagine he's a he's got the gift of the gab. He's able to speak properly. I'm sure, I'm sure that applies. Anjikin the Swift over here. There are traitors. Do any of these help a traitor? Don't think so. Nah, it doesn't. Oh, no. Nope. Nothing. Stewardship also I don't think really helps when you're a traitor. Party consumes party wages are five percent less is not bad. Experience gain for troops is irrelevant. Yeah, these are these are pretty much irre irrelevant. Bridina, got your crossbow skill, but that's irrelevant. Okay, fair enough. Theron, you've got your riding skill over here. Let's go ahead and get you. Use your mount hit points. Yeah, go with that. Done here. And oh, we got focus points. We got focus points for days. Our surgeon is maxed out with medicine. Intelligence, we can up this. By two steps. Again, if he's supposed to be the doctor first, then let's let him be the doctor first. And how do you fight? One-handed, eh? One-handed, we can add a little bit of focus over here so he can maybe be a better warrior. And perhaps we up your riding skills as well. Something, again, he can, like, train pretty consistently. Up your one-handed a bit more. And a bit more. I want to make sure he stays alive. <laughs> Denny the Swift, meanwhile, I mean... Got some focus points, might as well, if you're going to be a trader, might as well up your trade skills. Actually, Anjikin does not have focus points. Alright, cool, we're done here. We are... Yeah, done here. Dale over here is still to be upgraded at some point. Done and done. Wait here for some time. Let our army heal up a little bit. We have 843 wounded. Is that enough for our prisoners? Because I don't want to like stay here forever, pointlessly, needlessly. Um, over to the keep, over to the dungeon. Manage prisoners. 81, okay. That, I should have just waited. We have 158 wounded in our army. We'll wait for some time. There, 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 there's time in this in this war. There's time in this war yet. Eckard, traveling to Varen Castle to besiege. Well, have you won your previous one? I imagine you have. What? What happened here? We've won our siege. We've got our 19 prisoners. Hot damn. But I guess they didn't uh, manage to pull it off. Traveling to Varen Castle. Um... Oh, okay. Oh, I guess this is still ongoing. All right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Ikasaur has escaped. No surprise there. 140 wounded. Yeah, this is ongoing. This will be a victory, I think. Durthard has declared war on the Northern Empire. Okay, good for you, buddy. You keep at it. Yeah, this should be a victory. Taking some losses, but... That'll be fine. Akadana of the Karakurgit of the Northern Empire has been taken prisoner by Ugdal of the Valandians. Fair enough. Another sweet victory. Good to see the uh, vassals' armies do so well. What I'm thinking of doing, actually, is leaving some of these guys to their own devices. Maybe they'll form another army of their own, especially like at the, with, with like Calatild or somebody at the head. Might be worth doing. Let's see. Um, Lek... 
Valgan? He is Valandian. He might have some interest. Where is Kalatild? She is in another army already. Okay, fair enough. Valgan, let's go for it. Abolitos, perhaps? I don't want to send everybody off, obviously. Abolitos, sure. And you know what? Maybe even... Vana. No, Thawmond. There we go. I feel like that's fair. I feel like we got a fair distribution. I don't know how strong they can make their army. 270 approximately. 370. 460. 500. 640. Alright, they got, they got numbers if they wanted to. They've got numbers. Still 125. Oh, I was like, why is it moving so slow as the game was saving? I think we're good enough right now. We're so close to winning this one. I, I, I do I do want to see them win this one before we move on. There we go. Relation with the Noretzis declined a little bit, but that's not the end of the world. Monchuk of the Kuzate declares war on the Ishkas. That might be the end of the world. Okay. That is a problem. Look at these tributes. That is troubling. That is troubling. Now, fortunately, again, it's not like our position is any worse or better because of this war against the Batanians. I mean, because of that battle against the Batanians. We could not decline our nobles. They would keep applying pressure, I would be out of influence, and then at the end of the day, I'd be in this war and out of influence. But this war against the Khazate is certainly not ideal. I am, as the map pans up over here, a little out of position. Folks, hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. All the action took place around Rovalt today, but what a battle that was. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. And I hope we can recreate those uh, glorious victories a few more times. And uh, hopefully we can win these uh, wars we find ourselves embroiled in. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who have been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. I bid you farewell.